Nishant Deshpande. I, I, I am in 4C and I study at Manovekas English Medium School. Today I am here to talk about two interesting topics known as vaccine and immunity. So what I am going to cover about it is what is immune system, parts of immune system, body and sex fighting process, vaccination and for extras COVID pandemic, black fungus etc. What is immune system? Immune system is a highly defense mechanism which protects our body from deadly and not so deadly disease. So we should know that the immune system is not one but many cells, tissues and organs. Examples are lymph nodes, lymph vessels, lymphocytes, white blood cells, bone marrow and skin. And the body detects the virus uh, in our body because of the leukocytes. Let me tell you how. As soon as a foreign substance uh, and manages to cut our first line of defense known as the skin, it starts to use all the body's vital resources and starts to double up in number. So the leukocytes detect this activity minute, within minutes as they keep scanning the tissues, organs and cells for any abnormal activity. How does the immune system fight disease? As the, the, as the virus is deadly and not so deadly, the leukocytes have to depend on many other different types of leukocytes which come in two main groups, phagocytes and lymphocytes. The phagocytes trigger the immune response and order a group of macrophages and dendritic cells to go into the bloodstream and chew the unwanted enemy. While doing so, the phagocytes gather the information, all the information about it and send it to the second main group of leukocytes known as lymphocytes. Then the group of alerted lymphocytes quickly go in search of any infected body cells and quickly destroy them. Meanwhile, the B lymphocytes keep making a special kind of protein known as antibodies which will upon to specific viruses and thus destroy them. Sometimes our immune system gets weak and we cannot fight the diseases. We may get, uh, this, we, this is the problems can be more prone to diseases, hair loss and joint pain. What is a vaccine? A vaccine is a type of fluid which makes our body immune to a certain kind of disease. Okay, now let's go back to the time 1798 to witness a great scientist known as Edward Jenner, father of vaccinology. When he was a practicing physician, he noticed that women who developed cowpox, a skin disease, never developed smallpox. That may be to the reason that the smallpox and the cowpox virus may be from the same family. So he decided to experiment this on an 8 year old boy named James Fitz in a hope that this will save the world from smallpox epidemic. And thus it worked as the small boy was immunized against small, smallpox. How to make a vaccine? Well, to make a vaccine, take a tiny piece of a disease causing germ or a dead or weaker version of a germ and inject it in our body. How it works, I'll tell you in the next slide. Well, as I told you in the last slide that how to make a vaccine and to inject it in our body, the, now, as it is injected in our body, those germs, make sure they don't turn into a full-blown disease. But just like the other viruses, they trigger the immune system. This teaches your immune system to make memory cells and store that information about them and make and make uh, antibodies. So then when the nasty version of the germ comes, our body is already prepared for it. Now let me tell you something about COVID pandemic. What is COVID?
coronavirus. Coronavirus is a zoonotic disease which has been bugging us from last year to this year. Fun fact, it has been bugging humanity from the 1960s. Let's answer the main question. How does the coronavirus reproduce? Well, like any other microbes out there, the coronavirus has only one goal for the, to expand its species through reproduction. How? Well, we need to zoom inside its body where we find the genetic materials needed for reproduction which is covered with a protein shell which protects it while entering inside a host's body which is covered with an outer layer which helps it to access the cell's membrane which has on the outer layer are protein spikes which are used like a key to enter inside the cell Else it enters someone's body, it goes to the, it puts its protein spike in the, into the receptor molecule, like a key in a lock. Now, like other flu, the flu needs to travel inside a bubble to access the cell's nucleus. But the coronavirus doesn't need to do that. It can directly access the main part of the cell known as ribosomes. Then, when you will zoom inside the ribosomes, you will find all the genetic material it needs for reproduction. But if the protein spikes are carried through small sacs called vesicles. The vesicles look like a bubble which is filled with cytoplasm liquid. There, the coronavirus re, did, uh, re uh, makes its mechanism and turns it into its own species, black fungus, also known as mucomycosis. Mucomycosis is caused by a group of fungi called mucomycetes. They are found in decaying fruits and vegetables or dung, or soil, or on plants. The black fungus only infects people who have weak immunity because of an existing health condition like diabetes. It occurs inside the sinus and the lungs which can spread to other parts of the body. And in the case of skin mucomycosis, the infected area may look like infected, like blisters and ulcers and the infected area may turn black. Now, this, the most common species responsible for black fungus are rhizoma species and mucus species. Well, if you have black fungus, you may show symptoms like fever, swelling of hands, headache, numbness, toothache and loosening of teeth, etc. Thank you.